Okay, on this video, we're going to show you how to replace the armature in the electric motor. Okay, this is the motor unit, and next to it is the armature that we sent you. Okay, first thing to do is to remove the tape, and then check that the springs are in working order. Okay, first you're going to check that the springs are not broken, and then you're going to make a reference timing mark. Okay, the next step is you're going to pull back the, the brushes like this, one on each side. Okay, notice on one side there's a gold screw and on the other side a silver screw. It's important that the timing mark is set to zero on the side with the silver screw. Okay, now we're going to loosen the gold screw then loosen the silver screw just loosen the, the two screws, don't take them completely out. Okay, now loosen the plastic cover a little bit until it, twist it until it comes loose. Okay, now there's two washers, one uh, gold that goes on first and silver's on second. And uh, there's the silver, there's the gold. Now, when you open it, they might fall off the armature. They could be inside or they could be stuck on a magnet. So. Save these two wires. Next step is to remove the wires from the flange and then set the unit on the table and push it down and then pull the armature out. Okay, now notice the bearing is on the armature and there's also one washer. Uh, sometimes the bearing comes off in the bottom of the can, um, so, but if it, but you have to take it off. It, Okay, now take the washer off the old armature and put it on the new armature. And then put the bearing on the new armature. Now you can insert the new armature with the washer and bearing on it into the can. Okay, now we're going to put the washers back, the gold one first, and then the silver one. Before you put it back together, remember the zero on the can and the silver screw. And then you're going to put it on and line up the notches with the grooves and then turn it back until the screw lines up with the zero. Now we're tightening the screws a little bit over finger tight. Don't tighten them too much. Next step is to press back the uh, brushes. There. Holding the spring and then it snaps into place. Put the wires, put the, the wires back through the holes. And, and don't forget to put the black tape back on. Test the motor to see if it works. This is a battery pack from a cordless drill.